Hi kids, in this video we are going to discuss the arc and quad properties of circle from class 9. We have already discussed all the quad properties and done sums on that. Let us see the first property. In equal circles, in equal circles, which means circle having the same radius or in the same circle or in the same circle, if two arcs, if two arcs, if two arc subtend subtend equal angle equal angle at the center then they are equal in length then they are equal arc which means suppose we have two circle just see i take this okay I take another circle and suppose the radius is same. Okay. Suppose the radius is R1, R2 and R1 equals to R2. Equal circles. Then take suppose a minor arc AB over here, a minor arc PQ over here and suppose arc AB Substend an angle theta 1 over here. Okay. And R PQ. Substend an angle theta 2 over here. So if the angles are same. If theta 1 equals to theta 2. Then the length of the arc. In this case minor arc. Arc AB will be equal to the length of the arc minor arc pq that's your first theorem am i clear so if the angle subtended by a arc is same then the length of the arc is same okay the converse of this will be what let us see converse okay in equal circle circles or in the same circle or in the same circle equal arc equal arc substend substends equal angle equal angle at the center which means the converse is what look carefully if the length of the arc is same if arc AB is equal to R P Q minor arc. Okay, then the angle which is angle A O B, the angle subtended by those two arc of same length will be equal. Am I clear? Remember, arc A B can be written like this also. So this was your first theorem. Let us see the next one. Now look at the second theorem. In equal circles or in the same circle, equal chords cut off equal arc. So which means if these two circles are equal, which means the radius is equal, then if two chords, suppose AB and PQ over here are equal, then the length of the arc, which is AB and PQ over here will be same. Which means if AB is equal to PQ, then arc AB, in this case minor arc I'm taking, and arc PQ will be same in length. See how we can prove this. Let us see these two triangles. First of all, triangle AOB and triangle PO dash Q. AO is equal to PO dash. Since the two circles are equal, which means the radii are equal. So if this is R, this is R, this is R, and this is R, then OB is equal to O dash Q. These are the radii, isn't it? Will be equal. AB is equal to PQ. This is given to us. Equal chords. Then we can say that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle PO dash Q. Side, side, side. So we prove that these two triangles are congruent. Now if they are congruent, then this angle, look carefully, and this angle will be same. Which means angle AOB will be equal to P O dash Q P O dash Q plus C P C T 
Now, we just did the theorem, you know, of property we can say, half property, which says that in equal circle, if the angle subtended by 2R is equal, then the arc are of equal length, which means by that property we can say that arc AB is equal to arc PQ. Arc property, isn't it? So in this case, we proved that if the in, in two equal circle or in the same circle, if the cord are of equal length, then the then the cut equal arc. Okay. Now let us see the converse of this. Converse of this will be what? I'm just doing it over here only. In equal, this is the converse. In equal circles or in the same circle, equal arc have equal chords, equal chords, which means if arc AB, arc AB is equal to arc PQ, then we can say that the length of the chord AB and the length of the chord PQ will be same. Let us prove this. Okay, now let us see what is given to us. I'll just remove this. In this um, circle, I'll do arc AB and arc PQC. That is given to us. Arc AB is equal to arc PQ. We need to prove this that AB is equal to PQ. Very easy. Now, since these two circles are same, which means having the same radius, and these two arc are same, which means the angle subtended at the center will be same by the arc property, which means angle. A O B will be equal to angle P O dash Q. This is arc property, equal arc, subset, equal angle at the center. A O is equal to P O dash, same circle, or equal circle you can say. O B is equal to O dash Q. Since this circle are equal, the radius will be equal. Which means, if you look carefully, triangle A O B is congruent to triangle P O dash Q side angle side, isn't it? And if these two triangles are congruent, we can say that AB A B will be equal to PQ. That's CPCT. That's the converse. If the length of the arc is same in equal circle or in the same circle, then the length of their chords will be same. Now, this is clear, I hope. Now let us see two properties based on these results. Okay. Look at the first one. Equal chords of the same circle or of equal circle subsense equal angle at the center, which means if I take a circle and I take two equal chords, AB and CD. So if AB is equal to CD, then the angle which these two chords subsend at the center, which is angle AOB and angle COD, they will be equal. Equal chord, substance, equal angle at the center. Similarly, the second one, see, in equal circle or in the same circle, equal angles at the center makes equal chord, which means if these two angles are equal, if, just a converse, if AOB is equal to COD, then you can say that the chords are of equal length. Okay. Look at this one, number three, very important. In equal circle, if two arcs subsets equal angle at the circumference, they are equal, which means, suppose I take a circle, okay, and I take an arc AB over here, which subsets an angle X, okay, at the circumference, take another R, suppose CD, and this also subtend angle X at the circumference. So if these two R subtend, suppose this is M, N, same angle at the circumference, then the length of the arc is C, which means if angle A, N, B is equal to angle C, M, D, look carefully, then we can say that length of arc AB is equal to length of arc CD. 
which we can further see that the chord, you know, we can see that AB is equal to CD. Length of the chord will be also same because of length of the arc is same. Am I clear? We can also say that equal arc, substance, equal angle at the circumference. Clear? Now let us solve sums from exercise 15.2 ML level 1. Now let us see sum number 1 from exercise 15.2 ML level 1. The diagram was not there. I have drawn it. If arcs APB and CQD of a circle are congruent, which means equal. So I can say that R a, P, B is equal to R, C, Q, D. That is given to us. Then find the ratio of A, B is to C, D. The length of the chord, okay? Now we know that if in a circle, if two arcs are equal in length, then the chords are equal, which means we can say that A, B is equal to C, D. That is your arc property, isn't it? Which means if I need to find the ratio A, B is to C, D, since they're equal, it will be 1 is to 1. So the ratio is 1 is to 1. See, 3 lines and the sum is done. Clear? Now let us see the next sum. Now look at number 2. Very easy. A and B are points on a circle with center O. So we'll draw a circle. Okay? We'll take a point A. We'll take a point B. Center is O. C is a point on the circle such that OC bisects angle AOB. So... This is your angle AOB and C is such a point that it bisects this angle which means angle AOC is equal to angle AOB given to us. This is given to us. Okay. Prove that OC bisects the arc AB. Pretty easy. Just look over here. Angle AOC is equal to angle AOB. This is given to us. Okay. Which means if these two angles are equal, the arc are of equal length, which means arc AC will be equal to arc CD. That is arc property. Remember? In equal circle or in the same circle, if two arc substance equal angle at the center, then the length of the arc will be same. If these two length AC and CB, the length of this arc will be same, it clearly means that OC bisects the arc AB. Done. Proved. Very easy. Clear. Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at number 3. Prove that the angle subtended at the center of a circle is bisected by the radius through the midpoint of the arc. Which means, suppose this is my circle, the center is O, there is an arc AB, there is an arc AB, and suppose C is the midpoint, then the radius OC bisects angle, prove that OC bisects angle AOB. This is the sum. So carefully prove that the angle subtended at the center of a circle by the chord suppose by the arc suppose AB is bisected by the radius through the midpoint of the arc. Am I clear? Now look carefully. Very easy. C is the midpoint of the arc AB, which simply means arc. AC, arc AC is equal to arc CB. An equal arc, substance, equal angle at the center. We know this. Which means angle AOC is equal to COB. Equal arc, substance, equal angle at the center. We know this, isn't it? Which simply means if these two angles are equal, it means that OC bisects angle AOB. This was required to prove. Very simple, okay? Again, three statement and the sum is done. Now let us look at the next sum. Now look at number four. In the joining figure, two chords AB and CD 
of a circle intersect at P if AB is equal to CD, prove that arc AD and arc BC are equal. Very easy. Just look over here. AB is equal to CD. This is given to us. Now we know in a circle or in equal circle, equal cos, cut of equal arc, which means simply arc AB is equal to arc CD. Equal cos cut off equal arc. We know this. Now arc AB, if you look carefully, I can write as arc AD plus arc DB. Similarly, arc CD, I can write as arc CB plus arc C DB, isn't it? Look at the diagram properly. We can write like this. Now look, arc DB, arc DB cancels. What remains? Arc AD is equal to arc CB. And this we were supposed to done very easy. We just use one property that equal cos cut of equal arc. Okay, so this was the last sum for this exercise. Keep it till here in this video. In the next video, we'll see a new chapter. Till then, take care.